Bushcraft 412 with another video for my series of cheap and inexpensive bushcraft. Um, do I bring food with me on every bushcraft trip? Yes. Um, although some trips I try not to use it and try to use it only as a last resort, I do bring it with me every trip just because it's silly not to. Um, I do like to go on trips where I just gather my own food, hunt my own food, you know, especially during hunting season, it's really nice. But I wanted to show you, you don't need to spend $6 on a mountain house. You don't need to spend tons of money on dehydrated food. There's lots of good food out there you can buy for cheap that tastes great and is actually pretty good for you. Uh, let's start out with the easy stuff. This is my beverage bag. Uh, this has got some hot cocoa, uh, instant coffee, sugar packets, um, lemonade, um, tea, you know, a couple other things like that. These are all dollar store stuff for Walmart. You get these, you know, the hot cocoa is a buck for a package. The coffee is a buck for like ten of these. The sugar things, you know, package you can get for like a dollar. These are all cheap and they last you, you know, you can use them around the house, but they last you a long time. Uh, these are something I get at Walmart. These are peanut butter packets, 50 cents. Um, I like to use these for baiting um, traps and snares. Um, I do eat them, but, you know, for 50 cents, they are nice to bait a trap with. Ah, uh, raisins. It is a great thing. You can get these for packages for a buck. Um, this is something I got. I can't remember where I got it, but uh, I had a bunch from one time. It's basically olive oil in a small, thin pack. Um, these are nice just to have. Um, I can't remember where I got it, so I can't tell you where to get them, but when I see little things like this, small, thin things in packs at the stores, especially dollar stores, I snag them up. Bowl in a bag of rice. Um, you get these, you get a whole box for a buck fifty. Uh, the great thing about these is they, they, you know, are really nice and thin. They're in a bag already. You just throw these in boiling water for six to seven minutes, and they're ready. It's a real good way to make rice without screwing around. Have, you know, having the rice stick to your pot and burn your pot. You put them in here, they're ready to go. Six seven minutes cooking. Uh, mashed potatoes. You can take that rice, add the mashed potatoes. And you can make a casserole. Add whatever meat you want, like beef jerky or tuna, make a casserole. But instant potatoes, great in the woods. And really all you got to do is add some water and heat them up, and they're good to go. Real nice, small, they pack down. Um, Cheerios, another good thing to bait your traps with. Um, squirrels love Cheerios. Um, I put them in little Ziplocs. Maybe sometimes I add some sugar in with it. Um... But I love having Cheerios. But you can't have your Cheerios without milk. Dry milk. I get these at Walmart. And these make enough for an entire trip. Um, you got to put it in a Ziploc once you open it. But uh, this makes a quart of uh, milk. Um, it's enough to make your cereal and any drinks you want. Hot cocoa. Put it in with your coffee. Um, Sometimes I ration it out in little Ziplocs ahead of time, but these are real neat, and you can buy the whole box with, I think, like seven or eight of these from Walmart for four or five bucks. So they last they last a long time. Great little item. You can also get them in the big bulk containers for even cheaper, but I like these little packets because I can throw them in to a big Ziploc bag, and they fit with these other items. Oatmeal, another cheapie. Buck ninety nine. you can buy a whole tub of it. I pre-mix in sugar, even though the sugar does... Uh, cook out and you can't taste it but I just add it in for the calories and but oatmeal cheap throw it in a ziploc good to go onion soup mix you can add this to your casserole you can add it to meat um you can add it to your ramen um you get these for packages uh maybe four or five packs like this for a buck ramen king of the woods 17 cents I think you buy these for my god amazing you can, so many recipes for that. You can add tuna, beef jerky. You can add almost anything to it. I like to add string cheese to it. Um, so much stuff. Tuna packets. You get these at the dollar store. These are kind of expensive. They're like a buck a piece, but they're thin. You can put them in a Ziploc bag. They're great. Same thing with beef jerky. You can add these to your ramen. You can add them to your casserole. Um, I think I got these at Walmart. They might have been a buck ninety nine, so kind of expensive, but good protein. Here's another tuna and sunflower oil. Uh, a little more calories than that. You know, bigger package. It might have been a little more expensive, but they do have the bigger sizes. If you know, you're a big hungry guy like me. 
Um, some other small little snacks. These things, you get these at like gas stations for 99 cents. Uh, good protein. You need your protein in the woods. Fiber bars. Everybody poops. Come on. Get these for uh, two fifty for the ten pack. So they're, you know, they're, you know, like you know, they're they're you know a little on the expensive side, but you know, especially seeing they are so small. But they're nice to have in your pack. Keep it regular. Same thing. These are some Golden Grams bars. These were a pack of ten was maybe a couple of bucks. Good little stuff to throw in here. So these are all items. Nothing more than a couple of dollars you can throw in your kit, and they make for good eating. And you don't have to spend six dollars on a mountain house meal. When that six bucks isn't even going to really fill you up. And that's the end of this video.